I am Dr. Shivaram Varambali. I am a professor of psychiatry at Nimhans and also the chairperson of the Yantra 2323 conference to be held in Nimhans between 23rd to 25th of this month, November 2023. I welcome you all to Nimhans to participate in this exciting conference on integrative medicine focused on three specific areas that is clinical care, research and academics. It's going to be an academic feast as well as a very interesting start of a revolution in India in integrative healthcare. I would welcome all the guests to come to Nimans, look at the beautiful campus of Nimans and attend all the sessions of this conference which we have organized with a lot of care to bring the best national and international speakers to talk about integrating Ayurveda, Yoga, Ayush systems into the mainstream of healthcare in India. This is a movement which has started a few years back and it looks like it will go on to become a revolution. So I welcome all of you to join in this conference and the revolution. Thank you. Dr. Vartishwar has said, the only thing I would like to add is that the concept of this conference, we already done one Mitra conference in 2020, <coughs> the first one. That was more focused on yoga. This one is more focused on what you like to say, integrating all the things into health. So, we have divided this conference into three main sections. First day after the inauguration and the first two sessions, the half, afternoon half is dedicated to clinical care. How to integrate various medical specialities into clinical care, whether it is Ayurveda, whether it is homeopathy, whether it is naturopathy. So, we have excellent speakers, uh, both intern and international. The first half of the second day, 25th, is devoted to research. Uh, again, research is very important as Kishore was pointing out. And it is not that only people sitting in academic institutions can do research. Everybody can do research. At your own level, you can do. So, you all of you do thesis, all of you do some dissertations. If you take it seriously, you know, that's also good research. The third section is training. How to integrate this into training. How to teach people basics of all systems of medicine. Now this uh, actually Banaras Hindu University tried this in the 50s and 60s. Unfortunately at that time it did not take off. Uh, but ultimate aim is that we should have a MBBS or a MD integrated. So one person should be able to advise regarding all the systems of medicine what would suit that particular disorder. That is a dream that all of us have, but of course it may take a long time, a lot of legal and uh, other challenges are there, but that is the direction we are going in. And there are some countries in the world like China who are gone ahead of us uh, in this direction by integrating their own. And you see what happens if you, let's say, uh, Artemisi is a purely herbal substance which has now become a modern medical drug. You know, so once something works, it will become part of medicine. So there is uh, no separate Ayurveda medicine, uh, yoga medicine, natural medicine is medicine. So that should be the idea. So we are all moving in this direction. I'm happy that Jignasa is actually taking up in a big way. And for demands, it's a new experience to work with Jignasa, huge student organization. Because ultimately, conferences are meant for students. That's the whole idea. I'm happy that all of you will come and participate in the conference. See Nimhans. Because Nimhans, of course, is not a general hospital, it's mainly restricted to mental health and neurosciences. But that is the field in which the integration possibly has the greatest to offer. Uh, because there are many psychiatric and neurological disorders where the modern medical treatments don't have very good results. Acute, maybe, yes, we have very good treatments in modern medicine. But in the long term, most of these people are going to have some other, other problems for which Ayurveda and Yoga actually may offer very good solutions. So that is where we can start. Like Kishore said, all the aims are more likely to start Department of Integrative Medicine in the near future. And the aims are all general aspects. So there everything will be in order for this dermatology. So we had a, we had a certificate course in Integrative Medicine going on. Uh, just before this we had a meeting with the people who have come, a very senior orthopedic uh, consultant from Maharashtra had come as, he's a student in the course, he's a senior person, but 
He says that he has managed to integrate Ayurveda into his orthopedic practice. He has a Panchakarma unit, he has Ayurveda physician sitting in, and uh, for most common disorders, they are using Ayurveda. Only when surgery is required, he says, he will get into modern medicine. So, this is what the future, and it will save a lot of trouble and money for patients. Activity. That is the whole idea. That if we can, for the minor disorders, simply coming to a specialist, taking treatment which is very expensive, is not needed. There is a role for that and nothing <laughs> works. Otherwise, it's not needed. So, this conference aims to start this process, thinking among people that where, what is needed. Should we start with yoga, maybe Ayurveda? Okay, if allopathy is needed, fine. But then, Somebody should think in this way. For that thinking, we need to know. I need to know a little bit of Ayurveda. You need to know a little bit of modern medicine. Everybody needs to know a little bit of yoga. Because that's the Indian system of healthcare, preventive healthcare. The preventive and special medicine professor from Ames also said the same thing. Ayurveda and yoga is the real preventive. Unfortunately, if you read Park and Park, there is nothing of Ayurveda in it. Because we have not published, we have not brought it to the attention of people. So, Park and Park is a wonderful textbook. I'm sure many of you would have read it. But there is nothing to about that. Uh, the concepts, if you publish, it will get into the books. For example, Yoga we have published and they have got into most of the guidelines now, including international guidelines for the management of depression and schizophrenia. Yoga has got simply because we have published in the good journey. So, that should be the aim. Right now, there are only, I think, two or three Ayurveda journals which are perfect in this. This is very sad, you know, there are about 7 lakh Ayurveda doctors in India. So, the number of journals has to increase, but for that, research has to increase. So, please attend, help us with the Yantra. Uh, I am very thankful to Jignasa because we have no way to reach out to this number of colleges. So, we are sitting in one corner of India and we wanted to reach, we need organization like Jignasa to work with us. So, I am thankful to all the people, Sachin and his colleagues who have come with us. So please enjoy the conference, learn as much as possible and let us work together. Thank you.